Hey, what's up, guys? So this is my CS20 e-bike that I have on my videos. I've shown you guys a couple of things. But this video is a short video, quick video, um, showing you the problem I'm having right now. Um, the, the bike has a, about 4,800 miles, 4,400, 4,149 miles already. See, it turns on, um, lights turn on, okay, but when I'm riding it, um, the throttle cuts off, the throttle cuts, cuts off and it doesn't respond, I gotta wait a couple of seconds for it to react again, and it keeps doing that uh, when I'm riding it, the throttle, the throttle cutting off, and then maybe like after seventh or eighth time, times the throttle cuts off, the bike dies completely and everything turns off. Before the bike dies, I get a error code 10. I get an error code 10 here and then the screen fades slowly, fades away until it turns off completely. Like the lights don't work. The bike doesn't want to turn on again when I do it with the switch. It doesn't want to turn on again. And it just completely dies. And I jump started or turn it back on with the charger. When I plug it back in here, I plug it in and it gets power. I'm able to turn it on. Um, but it dies right away. I noticed that the voltage on the battery drops to 50 volts, 52 volts. This is a 72 volt battery, and when it's fully charged, it's around 82 volts. But when I have this issue that, that it dies on me completely, when I'm riding it, um, the battery voltage drops to 52 volts, and everything dies. So I thought it was the battery. Uh, I bought a new battery. There's a new battery inside. Here's my old battery. You see, this battery came with it. It's a LG, LG battery. This is the original that came with the bike. I thought it was the battery. I bought this one, put it in there. There's a bigger battery inside. But I still got the same problem. So it would die on me with the original battery. It dies on me with the uh, new battery. So I know it's not the battery the problem. Um, I'm going to take it to a service shop right now and see what they find. But uh, I'm thinking it's the motor that is draining my battery too quick. I think there's something wrong with the motor because the, the Subaton controller... The subatom controller, it's water seal, it's waterproof. So I don't know, there's no way water's gonna get in there. But this is the problem I'm having. Uh, maybe if you guys, any of you guys know what's going on. I don't know anything about these systems here. I just know the battery, subatom controller, the motor, the screen display. Um, I was thinking on buying a brand new kit, but you're talking about 18 to $2,000. Uh, to buy the entire thing, then I decided just to buy just the motor and swap it, see if that fixes the problem, or just buy the controller and swap it, see if that fixes the problem, but I don't want to do that. I want to find find out, figure out what's going on over here. So that's what's happening. When I'm riding, everything turns off. The battery drains to 52 volts, and it's really quick, not even 10 miles, and it, it, it just completely uh, drains to 52 volts. For no reason, I don't know. Something is draining the battery, I think. And I keep getting error code 10 and everything dies. So I'm gonna take it to a service shop. Hopefully, if you guys maybe know anything about these, um, write it on the comment and let me know. Thank you for watching.